we have this question right here it's asking a kite 100 feet above the ground moves horizontally at a speed of 8 feet per second at what rate is the angle between the string and the horizontal decreasing when the when 200 feet of the string string have to be let out so have be let out so let's see how we can find this first of all we draw the diagram for this one so we, we have the kite 100 feet so this is going to be the height 100 feet and they are saying uh, this is uh, moving at the speed of 8 feet per second so it's moving something like this and also they are saying so if it's, if it's moved like this it's going to be like this right so let's say this is x and the speed is 8 feet per second and also they are giving that uh, at 200 feet so if I say this is y, y is 200 feet and they are asking to find the angle that is making with the horizontal so this is this this is the theta they are asking how uh, what rate this is decreasing so that's what we have to find since they are saying it's rate we have to find d theta by dt so this is our question so first of all let's form the equation so the, the information given is uh, x is moving this speed it means dx by dt is given this is 8 feet per second and we can uh, find a form uh, we can create a formula this one like uh, tan theta we can find the tan theta because we know the opposite side we know hypotenuse so we can find the tan theta so tan theta is going to be equal to so we, we don't need a hypotenuse we can use in terms of x so opposite is 100 100 over adjacent is x 100 over x this is my tan theta then from this one I can find the derivative or I can use another there's another way to do this one I can take cot theta cot theta is going to be inter inverse of tan theta it's going to be x over 100 in this way it's uh, much easier than the other way so let's do this way this way so if I find the derivative for cot theta it's going to be cos x square theta so it's negative cos x square theta cos x square theta and d theta by dt multiply by d theta by dt and if I find derivative for x, so x over 100 x is going to be just 1 because 1 come to the front and x 1 no 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 is going to be 0 x over 0 is going to be 1 right so it's going to be just 1 and then 1 over 100 remain the same then we have dx by dt so this is my formula so let's uh, see where, how we can solve this so since we have cos x square theta we can write it as 1 over sin square theta minus 1 over sin square theta and this is going to be multiplied by d theta by dt here we have 1 over 100 dx over dt now we can substitute substitute the values and we can find the sine theta it's going to be opposite over hypotenuse we know opposite is 100 and hypotenuse is 200 so sine theta is going to be 100 over 200 so if it, uh, the question is asking to find d theta by dt so I separate the d theta by dt to this side and bring the others to the other sides so it's going to be d theta by dt is equal to 1 over 100 we know dx by dt is given it's 8 feet per 8 feet per second so I substitute is here and multiply by negative sine square theta sine square theta so sine theta is 1 over 2 so sine square theta is going to be half square and it's negative and half square it's going to be 8 <coughs> 8 multiply by negative 1 over 4 over 100 we can cancel this one it's going to be 2 so it's going to be negative 2 over 100 and the final answer was going to become negative 0 0.02 
d theta by dt therefore the unit is going to be radians per second so this is my final answer so since the answer is negative it means the angle is decreasing by the rate of angle is decreasing by the rate of 0 0.02 radius per second so this is my final answer i hope you guys like this video see you next time